Hello, everyone. Happy New Year, and welcome back to the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. My name is Matt, and I'll be the one asking the questions around here. Last August, we crowned a new Mac Flash Movie Trivia Champion in Scott Despins. Today, we kick off an eight-player tournament to determine a new number one contender who will face Scott for that championship at the end of the month. I am really excited for today's match. It should be a high-scoring, back-and-forth fight. Introducing first, with a record of four wins and three defeats, Mike Mueller. How are you, buddy? Yeah, you know, I'm all right. Hey, someone changed my name. No fair. <laughs> I was better until my name got changed on me. <laughs> I'm Mike right. is doing us a huge favor because one of our other competitors uh, had to bow out before the tournament started. And in a very last minute replacement, he is here and he is. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I am. Actually, I'm I, I'm so ready that I had time to notice on the opening credits that you can track the seasons based on the the name graphic. If you look in yes. the corner, you can go, oh, that's season two. I mean, not that anyone's doing that but me, but that's. <laughs> and. His opponent, with a record of four wins and two defeats, Jim Perry. How are you, sir? Well, I'm just glad I'm. Uh, I'm glad to be able to right now, since, since I'm in since I'm in witness protection here. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Blink your eyes twice if you need help. <laughs> I have a safe word somewhere. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Text it to us. We may need to get it to the authorities. Jim, have you been studying in the off season? I might have gone to a few movies at once the theaters open. That's about it. <laughs> yes, wasn't that nice for a minute? Oh yeah. If Mike, if you're if you're ready, yeah, you know, I'm as ready as I'm going to be here. And Jim, if you're ready, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm going up against a Max Flasher, and if he has any, uh, if he has to remember anything, you just look at all the Funkos around him, and and probably get a lot of movie titles. Yeah, a lot of retention is far I highly doubt player. that those are going to help me, but I hope. We'll see. Yeah, Only if it's within reach. Okay. <laughs> so, with that, we will start this game like we do with round number one. And the rules to round number one are as follows. The players will be asked ten questions from different movie categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. One point is awarded for each correct answer. <clears throat> okay. Round one. Question number one. In 80s movies, in The Karate Kid, Johnny Lawrence and his friends belong to what karate dojo? Uh, this would have been good for me to have started Cobra Kai, but I was too busy watching something else on Netflix. In the Karate Kid, Johnny He's... Lawrence and his friends. <laughs> I don't realize what you did. I'm like, I know the answer, but really. <laughs> belong said... to what karate dojo? You said uh, high scoring, right? I think maybe. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We'll start with Jim. That's a good I choice. It's Cobra Kai. <laughs> it is Cobra Kai. Oh, well, isn't that, a, isn't that, <laughs> no. isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? Point it's, for Jim. It's the Oasis all over again. Here we go. Round one, question number two in 90s movies. Uh, Alicia Silverstone plays meddlesome Beverly Hills high schooler Cher Horowitz in what 1995 comedy? Nope. Alicia Silverstone plays meddlesome <laughs> Beverly Hills high schooler Cher Horowitz in what 1995 comedy? Ooh, 1995 comedy is my wheelhouse. Five, four, three, two, one. Then we'll start with Mike. It's Cobra Kai, right? <laughs> <laughs> Clueless is correct. Jim? Clueless. You also have it. Yes. There we go. Point each. One for Mike. Score is two to one. Two, What's two to two? <laughs> 
No, I didn't write anything. My score was blank. I see you need get this man some lights. He can't even oh. see the answers. <laughs> you didn't write Cobra Kai for the first one? No, I didn't write anything. I literally did not remember, and that's why it was so funny that I said the answer out loud, <laughs> oblivious <laughs> to the fact that that's the answer. Because the lot I've seen Karate Kid like 20 years ago, maybe. Moving on to question number three action adventure. Which Quentin Tarantino film features characters named Mr. White, Mr. Blue, and Mr. Pink? Which Quentin Tarantino film features characters named Mr. White, Mr. Blue, and Mr. Pink? Five, four, three, two, one, Jim. So sorry for the spelling, but it's Reservoir Dogs. And Mike, Reservoir Dogs. I, I had that R and erased it too. I don't know if that's right. I couldn't figure out Reservoir. <laughs> I don't know either. How often are you writing that word down? Eh? You are both correct, Reservoir Dogs. Um, he has a he has a tendency for misspelling words in his titles anyway. So. Oh, okay. So the answer is Pulp Fiction. We spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, round one, question number four: In animated or family films. In Disney's Robin Hood, Robin and Marion are characters portrayed as what animals? I used to have that pop in here. <laughs> in Disney's Robin Hood, Robin and Marion are characters portrayed as what animals? Five, four, three, two, one. Mike? Foxes. Correct, Jim. Foxes. You have it too. The scores four to three. That was the first movie I ever saw in a theater. Oh wow. Um. Really? <laughs> hey man, there wasn't much out in 1975. You know what I mean? I don't. Was I wasn't out. there. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we move on to comedies. What wedding comedy has Melissa McCarthy defecating in a sink? That's question number five. Comedies. I feel like she what? does that in all her movies. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what wedding comedy has mm. Melissa McCarthy defecating in a sink? Five, four, three, two, one. Jim? It's Bridesmaids. Is bridesmaids, Mike. You also have it. Scores five to four. Round one, question number six in dramas. What does Tom Hanks call his volleyball in Castaway? What does Tom Hanks call his volleyball in Castaway? Five, four, three, two, one. Starting with Mike. Mm, Wilson. Correct. Jim. Wilson. You have it as well. I wanted to work in a Bubba joke, like Bubba <laughs> Fett. <laughs> <or something, but. laughs> Round one, question number seven in horror thriller. What monster movie stars Kevin Bacon and features giant worms killing small town citizens? Oh, I mean, I guess that's what you can call them. <laughs> what monster movie stars Kevin Bacon and features giant worms killing small town citizens? Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, starting with Jim. It was Tremors. Tremors is correct. Mike. I mean, technically that's incorrect because they're not giant worms. They're graboids. Yes. That had to be named later. Tremors. Tremors, correct. Um, round one, question number eight in musicals. What best picture winning musical stars Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Queen Latifah? What 
Best Picture Winning Musical. Stars Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Queen Latifah. Five, four, three, two, one. Mike? Um, that one, Best Picture? And I'm like, is that yeah. the answer? Is this the right answer? Chicago? Is correct. The one Best Picture? Ew. Yep. Jim? Yeah. Chicago. So correct. No, no. Somebody it's... take that award back. <laughs> Uh, okay, round one, question number nine Romantic comedies In Crazy Stupid Love Steve Carell plays a newly divorced man Seeking to rediscover his manhood With the help of a newfound friend Jacob, played by whom? Oh, I almost just blanked in Crazy Stupid Love, Steve Carell plays a newly divorced man seeking to, re to seeking to rediscover his manhood with the help of, of a newfound friend, Jacob, played by whom? Five, four, three, two, one, Jim. I have no clue, but I'm putting Seth Rogen just in case. <laughs> Uh oh! Is incorrect, Mike. Ryan Gosling, and Mike ties it up. We are Oof. eight to eight with one question left in round number one, and that's in sci-fi fantasy. What is the name of the lead agent played by Hugo Weaving in the Matrix franchise? What is the name of the lead agent played by Hugo Weaving in the Matrix, fr Matrix franchise? Five, four, three, two, one. Mike? Uh, agent Smith? Is correct. Jim? I put Mr. Smith. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. mm. uh -oh. I don't know. Honestly, up to you. Right, but the name Smith, that's his name. I think you can we, just you can hop, you can mull on it and give the point if you want if you decide. I don't, I'm okay either way. Give him the give him the point. Make it nine nine. It is nine nine. Smith was what we were looking for. I think you were getting stuck there with what I was getting stuck there. He always says Mr. Anderson to to Neo, and and then so you're probably thinking Mr. Smith because I was. I haven't watched that for so damn long. Yeah, well, <laughs> good. It's not a very good franchise. <laughs> with that, the score is tied nine to nine. Um, since Jim has, uh, the better record with one fewer loss, he will get to, uh, pick from our categories in round number two, round number two, ladies and gentlemen, will remind you of the rules is the players will be asked to select five categories, eliminating them from round number three. They will be asked questions from those categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has increased, and two points are awarded for each correct answer. Jim, you will get to pick first. Horror. Horror. Mike? Mm. Um, I don't know. Let's go 80s movies. 80s movies. Jim. Musical. Hmm. Oh, that was for our special guest that briefly appeared. <laughs> uh, Mike. <clears throat> um, let's go. Oh, what do I want to leave behind? Let's go comedy. Comedy will be four. And Jim gets to pick the fifth category. Sci-fi fantasy. Okay. Those are down. I suppose I'm assuming there is another round is what I... I, I, <laughs> I think the, there'll be another round. Not the best <laughs> assumption. I... <laughs> so, to kick things off with round number two... Uh, Jim picked horror thriller, 
And the question for you guys is in Videodrome, who plays Max Wren, president of a TV station desperate for new programming? In Videodrome. Who plays Max Wren, president of a TV station desperate for new programming? Five, four, three, two, one. Jim? James Woods. Mike? James Woods. You're both correct. Two points each. Score is 11 to 11. Thanks for making that the question for the video drone. It's the only thing I would have known the answer to. Yes, me too. <laughs> 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 Wasn't that done by Cronenberg too? Well, oh, yeah. That's like the that. three point question. Yeah. That, <laughs> I would have come up with that too. I guess you're right. Okay, so there's two questions. You've used <clears> one. <throat> I suggest you don't use the other one some other time because. Um, round two. Question number two Mike, pick 80s. Who was the first historical figure? Picked up by Bill and Ted in their excellent adventure. Oh, no. Who was the first historical figure picked up by Bill and Ted on their excellent adventure? That's a good question. Five, four, Second three, two, one. We're starting with Mike. Uh, I kick myself here. I don't know. I put Genghis Khan. Is incorrect. Yeah. Jim. I put Lincoln. That's the other one. Also not. incorrect. Yeah, okay. Ah. Whew. That was my other guess. Napoleon. Oh. oh. <laughs> Peaky weaky. Okay, yeah. We'll move on to round two, question number three. That will be in musicals. In The Sound of Music. Maria makes matching outfits for her for her and the Von Trapp children out of what? In the sound of music. Maria makes matching outfits for her and the Von Trapp children out of what? Is it one of the songs? Hold on, let me sing some of the songs. Hold on. <laughs> Five, oh. four, three, two, one. Jim? The curtains? The raindrops and roses? Or... <laughs> Mike? Curtains. Both correct. Two points each. <laughs> Scores 13 to 13. Um, as we move on to <clears throat> round two, question number four, comedies. You'll find teammates. Tanner Boyle, Timmy Lupus, Kelly Leak, and a male and Amanda Wurlitzer playing Little League Baseball in what movie? Can you see their names again? Yep. You'll find teammates Tanner Boyle, Timmy Lupus, Kelly Leak, and Amanda Wurlitzer playing Little League, playing Little League Baseball in what movie? Five, four, three, two, one. I start with Mike. I don't know, Amanda threw me. I have no clue. This is just. I, this is not right. I put Sandlot because I need. I didn't want it blank. <laughs> uh, it's incorrect, Jim. Yeah. Bad news bears. It is. The oh, bad news that's bears. right, Amanda. The girl. Okay, I was trying to figure out which one had a girl. Yeah, good, nice. <laughs> Two points for Jim. The score. He takes the lead. It is now 15 to 13. As we round out round number two with question number five in sci-fi fantasy. What is the name of the test the Blade Runners used to help determine whether or not an individual was a replicant? Just they just referenced it in Ready Player. I was just listening to it again. This is going to be. What is the name of the test the Blade Runners use to help determine whether or not the individual was a replicant? Oh, son of a. 
five, four, three, two, one. And we're starting with Jim. It's, it's two words. I don't know. If it's the robot make you do on the to prove you're not a robot. <laughs> Finding all the street lights. Uh, yeah. That is incorrect. <laughs> Mike? No, nah, it's it's two words. It's something, something. I can't remember it, though. Is it the Voight Comp? Yes. <sighs> like, I was like, oh, there's no way. It was either coming to me or it wasn't. They literally had that show up as a challenge in, I think it was Ready Player Two. Anyways, not that that's how I should remember it, but <laughs> <laughs> didn't remember it anyway, so it could have been in uh, Five Will Goes West. I don't know. <laughs> With that, we move on to round number three. Round number three is played similarly like round number two, but we near the end of the game. The players will be asked three questions of their choosing from the remaining five categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has again increased. Three points are awarded for each correct answer. The player with the highest score at the end of this round is the winner. Jim is in the lead. He will get to pick the first category. Action adventure. Mike. Uh, animated family. <clears throat> and Jim. Nineties movies. Not romantic comedies. I thought for sure that's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that many Catherine Heigl films. All right, next time I pick romantic comedies. I know two cats. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's two more or, than Jim or Whenever I walk into the room I, and my wife's watching something on Slice and I go, oh, what's that movie? <laughs> Catherine Heigl movie. Yeah. yeah. Or that Ryan Reynolds movie where he's trying to find his, with his daughter. That, that thing's on all the time. Definitely Maybe, is that what that yeah. is? Yeah. Man, come on. Why isn't that the question? <laughs> I know Scott's over there going like, yeah, Mike, definitely, maybe. That's a tearjerker. I, I, we own that, I think, on DVD. Okay, anyways. Okay, <laughs> round number three. Question number one. In action and adventure, which 2017 movie mm. features bank robbers wearing Austin Powers masks? Both players quick to write down something. Yeah, which, doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> <laughs> which 2017 movie features bank robbers wearing Austin Powers masks? Five, four, <clears throat> three, two, one. We're going to start with Mike. It's 2017. See, I think I'm wrong because of the year. Put the town. No, that's incorrect. Yeah. Jim. What were they wearing in the town? I put Baby Driver. Baby driver yes, is that's correct. Right. That's right. What was the, what did they wear in the town? Didn't they wear something matching too? They had a uh, nun outfit. Oh, okay, them. yeah. Baby driver, my my boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, no continue. pressure. I just, <laughs> just got to get three and hope she doesn't get any. We got this. Or two, the I should say. The score yeah. is eighteen to thirteen, and yes, we still continue. Uh, with round three, question number one in animated or family films. In Babe, what is the name of the female border collie who Babe calls mom? Oh, I was just gonna say, Ma. <clears throat> in Babe. What is the name of the female border collie whom Babe calls mom? Five, four, three, two, one. Cue the music. Cue the ending Jim. music. <laughs> Jim? I have no clue. I put down Sheila. Sheila's incorrect. Mike? Why not go with Lassie even though that's a different Lassie movie? Lassie is also incorrect. We were looking for Fly. Yeah, why not? Fly. But with that, we have a winner. And I'm moving shocked. on in the tournament, Jim Perry. That was exactly what I wanted out of the game. 
Oh, Jim to win? Oh, that's no. nice. <laughs> That's nice to hear. I'm glad that I got your give you your wish. One Mike, thank you for filling in the seat here. Yep. Uh I know you've been eager to uh get to the uh teams portion that we've been rumored to start, Ooh. and it is my hope we get that done this year in uh in the spring. I can't make promises, but I really want that to happen as well. Just wishes and dreams. <laughs> for now yeah jim you are moving on in the tournament how do you feel i'm completely shocked i figured i was gonna get killed so i'm pretty happy you might still you're in a murder dungeon <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as long as you don't turn around garage. it's got nothing to do with garage. me but We're i don't know if you're making out of this alive <laughs> <laughs> yes jim was actually playing for his life that's yeah, why lucky he, for him. <laughs> he was doing so me. Well. I was just playing for cookies, so <laughs> this is good. <laughs> and your cookies are in the mail. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure they'll still be fresh. <laughs> with with the milk. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Um, with that, everybody watching, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This was just the first match in our new tournament for 2022. Uh it's an eight-player tournament. We've got plenty of more uh, matchups. The winner of that tournament will be facing Scott Despins at the end of this month. Please, I mean, stay tuned for that for sure. Continue to watch. Thanks again. We'll see everybody next time.